All right, we're here for another Deal Structure Sunday. It's Chris Pre and Brian O'Neill, High Six Associate, also a strategy expert for the company now, doing an amazing job. Welcome back to Deal Structure Sunday, Brian. Thank you, good to be here. Yeah, because of the timing of this, let me just insert a little note. Um, these guys can get a whole lot more of you because you're gonna be doing some really cool presentations like showing your journey, your deals, the, what you went through to get there at the upcoming QLS Live event, right? Yes, I am. I'm excited to, to share. It's going to be a great event and I'm going to be there in person. So that's going to be awesome. Yeah. So uh, for the viewers, uh, QLSlive.com. It is a virtual event. Brian and some of the team members will be with us broadcasting. Uh, you're going to want to be there. Uh, Brian said on a high six mastermind call privately about a month ago, why doesn't every student just do these four things? And he's going to talk about those as well as his path his journey at the event. So you don't want to miss it. All right, let's dive into this deal. Brian, what type? Uh, this is another sandwich lease. Of course it is. We're going to start calling you the O'Neill sandwich. Yeah. All right. 36, 36 months. 36 um, months. Yeah. Uh, what was the source? Uh, an expired from a, uh, from a slide broadcast. How long was this expired on the market, roughly speaking? And then from your first slide broadcast or live call to a contract, how long is that? Okay, so the, he was, the seller was not on for a long time. There's a great reason for that, which is, a sup, which is super interesting for the overtime. He took it off the market. So I'm going to say it was, if I recall, it was maybe, it was less than two months. It might have even been 30 days. From when you, from, from when you got it. For that he was on the market oh, and then I gotcha. was able to structure something. Again, most of my sellers are, it's very similar. It's typically within a two week period of the, from when I first speak to them, it, it happens relatively quickly. Okay. So I hope you guys caught what he just said. He's going to show you at QLS how and why he has a two week window from when he talks to someone, what he says, how he does it to a contract. That's super cool. All right, um, let's talk about how the deal was structured because as a review, when we do a sandwich, we're using a sales price for a formula. We're then calculating how much debt is underlying and the difference goes to the seller at the end of the term. We don't talk sales price. How did you figure this formula, Brian? What was the debt, what was the equity? Sure, the uh, loan balance at the time was 220, 658. Okay. I'm make our math complicated here, but that's all right. Right. I'm going to rely on you. Yeah. And the, you know, we ended up, we, end, the, you know, I gave the seller a couple of different options. You know, I typically give them a three and a four and a five year option, depending on how long they're willing to go. They chose the three month, the three year option and the, and the equity associated with that was 20, $25,000. Okay. So 25 grand. So technically starting out of the gate, you bought this thing for like 245 and change, 245, 658. Yep, that's correct. And when I say out of the gate for the viewers to know, so what happens at the end is, Brian is Brian's agreement in section 13 of the contracts that we provide you in the QLS program in model 11. It's basically is all preset. All you have to do is fill in these numbers. And what it says is, Brian will pay off the uh, 25 grand equity he promised on it before the, the term but he'll also pay off the underlying debt, which starts at 22658 and is some number less at the end. And you'll see how we calculate that. It all goes in Brian's pocket, HIP National Bank, and pay day three. All right, um, I think it's interesting that you said you offered him and most of your sellers a couple different options, not just the 36 months. So on the deal structure over time that you guys can all go to and should go to, we'll dive into that and some really different nuances on this deal, and that'll be over at SmartRealEstateCoachAcademy.com, the deal structure over time. So you went on the market and sold for how much? Uh, 284 nine. 284 nine, nice. Okay, and you went off, and how quickly did you get a tenant buyer? It wasn't long. I think it might have been the maybe the third or fourth person who went through the house. Um, uh, so. Probably so did that take two, a year, a month? A yeah, week? five weeks, maybe four or five weeks total. Okay. And how much they put down upfront and ongoing? 
So we had a buyer here that was at uh, 3% minimum, which again, I felt comfortable with it with her employment and her income. So that was that comes to 8550 plus the first month's rent. Again, sellers living in the house. So we're not paying we're not paying their their mortgage for when they're living there. First month's rent is 2475. All right, let me, before we go further, explain um, in case I didn't catch more sandwich or more episodes from you. The 3%, Brian said, oh, I was comfortable giving blank, blank, blank. We have a process called the next step form. Brian, you want to explain that so they understand how we know and how we come across this decision besides live conversations? Just briefly what the next step is and how it works. Yeah, the next step form is 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 their next step after they view the property. So they want the house, they want to move forward, and and part of uh, part of that form is asks about the down payment. What do you have available now to put towards the down payment, and then what do you have say over the next twelve to eighteen months, or potentially even twenty four. Um, and then we have a conversation around that and put a plan together so that we can set them up for success because 3% is typically not going to ever get it done. And we want to make sure they're in the best possible position uh, when they get, when it, when it comes time to get their bank loan. Awesome. Okay. Now let's pivot back to how much additional down did you, uh, I want to say negotiate, but arrange with them. Yeah. Again, what she was comfortable with and what I was comfortable with was an additional uh, 10,000 and that is going to come at tax time. So the next two tax uh, tax time in 22 and 23, she'll put 5,000 each. So 10,000 total. That's awesome. And we teach you for the viewers to know how to have those conversations and what the scripts are. Yes, all the information's in the QLS, but it's going to be much more interactive, much more applicable for you to hang out with us for three days at the QLS Live event coming up here in just a matter of days or weeks, qlslive.com. Brian, myself, Zach, Nick, a bunch of the coaches are going to be present broadcasting virtually. You don't want to miss it. It's going to be a really cool event, qlslive.com. Brian, before we go to payday two, um, I know we're going to talk about this in the, in the deal structure overtime because you mentioned to me, and I just want to let them know what we're going to go over in the overtime, that, that you got this buyer, you're all set to go, and then the seller pulled back a little bit, like start to play hardball with you. Is that correct? Am I saying it right? Yeah, it is. And it wasn't a fun situation, but uh, the seller was looking for more money. Um, all right. You know, well, yeah. well, that's going to be, a, that, see, this stuff happens, guys. We give you the good, the bad, the ugly, and Brian and I are going to go over on the deal structure over time. All right. So the monthly payment on the seller's underlying debt of 226.58 was how much? 2,166. And that was PITI, principal interest, taxes, insurance? It is. Okay, awesome. And then the payment from the buyer we learned from above is 2475? Correct. Okay, Brian put, uh, Brian, what month did they start? What month of the calendar month did they start? Uh, I believe it was May. Okay, so say Brian took possession May 1 officially. He moved his buyer in the home May 1. The May 1 payment, for the seller is for his April, his or her April mortgage. Our mortgages are paid in arrears by and large. So that's why above, above in pay one, payday one, you see Brian kept the 2475 from his buyer at the buyer signing when they moved in before May 1. They signed, they gave him the 8550, they gave him the 2475. We have an admin fee built in, second issue, uh, second uh, different conversation, but the, but the seller does not get that. The seller's mortgage starts to get paid June 1 because that's for the month of May when they moved out. And we'll teach you how to script that if you have a challenge with that. Um, the spread there then? Uh, 309. 309. I think our average on our team is 308. This is funny. Okay, 36 months, how much? That would be 11,124. Okay, so um, interesting. We got payday one here of... Uh, Gosh, 18 yeah. plus 24, what's that come to? 18,550 plus uh, to the first month is 21,025. 025, so that's payday one. We'll come back to this when we tally it. Payday two is 11. Let's go to payday three, which is always interesting uh, because we're talking about principal pay down. We're talking about spread, everything. The, pr the, the spread, the premium was how much? Uh, 39,242. 39. 242 for the viewers that came from right up here. Mm -hmm. The formula that he bought it at, the formula that he went into market at, 
but there's going to be a massive principal. Well, there's going to be a principal pay down. Brian, um, how much is the principal pay down from the payment you're making of 2166 every month? Yeah, this is great too. And one of the reasons I love, I, I really like this deal and uh, conceded on the seller, $700 a month is the principal pay down. 700. 20 year loan. On a 220 house. Okay. Um, quick note, if you have a seller in the lease purchase with less than a 30 year amortization, this is what happens. This is cool. If Brian didn't have a 309 spread, he'd be happy with seven. He's got a 700 a month principal pay down and a 300 a month spread. That's a grand a month right there. Crazy good. Okay, yep. minus payday one deposit, not counting the first month's rent, of course. Um, 18,550, sorry. Oh, and by the way, the pay down is uh, 252 over the 36 months. Oh, sorry, 252? Mm -hmm. Yep. Found money. Creating money out of thin air. Brian, how much did you put down on all these lease purchases that you've done? I, didn't, I haven't asked you that in a while. Uh, down payment. All 10, the total of, I mean, it's in our agreements, $10, but I've, I've given 20 to the seller. <laughs> what a big spender. What a nice guy. So you've, yeah, okay. so this deal was what, 10 or $20 deposit? Uh, this is 10. All right. $10, guys. So he's amassed 10 deals, 10 or $20 deposits on each particular deal. Mm -hmm. All right. Cash out on payday three only. $45,892. $45,892. So we got payday ones and twos and threes already listed up above. We got payday, uh, payday ones and twos rather. Payday threes, 45. How much then is the uh, total profit on this deal? 78,041. What I love is I remember your average, uh, the first, 10 around that 760 range is going to 78. And as we learned when we chatted on the last deal structure, and hope you guys go back and catch that one, you're breaking 80 now, 80 plus on the on the three paydays. Yeah, yeah, it's, it, it's cool stuff for sure. So let me ask you this before we jump to the deal structure over time. How do you, how do you get your payday? Uh, how do you get all three paydays? What, what's been your experience with this? How do you get them from averaging in the 50s to averaging over 80 now? Just like, what are your comments on that for the, for the viewers to know? Sure. I, well, it's certainly been a mindset change for me. I mean, I look for that. So when I'm, when I'm structuring these deals and structuring the offers to the sellers, I'm, I'm looking to try to hit those targets and, you know, whether I give them a three and a four and a five year option or whatever it is. I mean, we can talk about that more in the overtime of how I do that. I'm, I'm looking at those parameters. Like, does this deal make sense for me and my averages? Now, if a deal looks really good and it's in the 60s, I'm not going to walk away from it. But I'm telling you, that's what my mindset is. My process is when, when putting these together is I'm trying to get to these, to these numbers. Yeah, and I want the viewers to know before we jump to the deal structure over time, we were on a mastermind, Brian, you and I the other day, and I think it was Mike in California who said, yeah, I got a payday three. It's not, it's not a good one. It's, it's kind of awful. And we said, how much? 15 grand. There aren't many investors watching this that aren't on this yet that would say, yeah, that's kind of a sucky one. I mean, come on. So we're creating three paydays. We've trademarked this process. The process and the system are getting more and more lucrative for everyone. And you're gonna to wanna to know how to dig your teeth into this and take advantage of this in 22 and beyond as the market continues to shift. It's gonna shift, guys. And so if you're watching this, I would think that your first action item would be to go to qlslive.com, register and get yourself a ticket for the virtual event. You can be anywhere in the world, segregate three days, block everything out of your calendar, you will consider it the, t the best time spent. Brian, why should they be there? And then we'll let them go to the deal structure overtime over at smartrealestatecoachacademy.com. Yeah, I mean, I, I love QLS. I mean, it, it's just, I come out of these events just with, with probably a good three or four takeaways that can really move the needle for me in my personal life and my business. So, I mean, come pay attention, be as engaged as possible. Um, it, it, it's life state, it's life changing stuff. You can really create a moment for you and your family when you come to these events. Um, and there's, there's, there's just so much opportunity moving forward. I, I love it. And I, everyone really needs to be there. Yeah. And because it's virtual, we've lowered the price from, from when we were live in the, in the 19, 2019 and, and before days. So you got to be there. All right, let's go ahead over to smartrealestatecoach.com. Fire up the overtime for this deal structure. Mm -hmm.